To watch previous episodes of the National Heads Up Poker Championship, log on to www.nbcsports.com backslash poker. And now take a look at the upcoming broadcast schedule. Four more Sundays of poker coming your way, and you can catch all the Heads Up action beginning at noon Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Getting right back to the competition, Table 5, the Terminator Patrick Antonius in 1996 World Series of Poker champ Huck Seed struggling for a berth in the round of 32. Huck, a fairly young player, but he is a seasoned vet. Patrick is part of the new wave of talent that made its way across the Atlantic from Europe. He is a new resident of Las Vegas by way of Finland. And look at this flop. Two pair for Huck Seed, queens and sixes. And top pair for Patrick. This is what we like to call a cold deck. Huck is checked. Patrick bets 800. And Huck quickly raises it up to 3,000. Now Patrick has got to try to put Huck on a hand. This is such a sizable raise. I'm all in. Patrick goes all in. Quick call from Huck. And with a call that quick, you always know you're in trouble. Ooh, the running eights. The running eights. The <laughs> running eights, man. <laughs> running seven. Yeah, yeah put an eight of diamond there. Huck ahead with queens and sixes. Patrick and looking for a nine. Instead, it's a oh, ten of hearts on the turn. Now a ten yeah, will a ten actually ten. give Patrick the pot. It would counterfeit Huck Seed's two pair. The river card. Six of clubs, a full boat for Huck Seed. He doubles up, and we're back to even. Let's check in with Shauna. I'm here with Don Cheadle. Don, when did you get the poker bug? Uh, probably two or three years ago I started playing a lot, a lot of home games and then started going to the casino more and more. Was there any one particular player that you got coached from? Not coached from, but Annie Duke has helped me a lot. And she, she owes me a, a two-hour lesson that I won in a poker tournament, actually, so I'm waiting for her to, to pay that off. So we're going to see how that happens. <laughs> what was the best piece of advice that she's given you? Um, against Phil Ivey, uh, be afraid, be very afraid. <laughs> because I don't know if it was advice as much as it was a warning, but yeah. <laughs> Don Cheadle beat Phil Ivey to advance to the round of 32 as we go back to the feature table. Eric Lindgren and Vanessa Russo. Ask me why I'm boycotting Ocean's 13. Why are you boycotting Ocean's 13? <laughs> My bracket. Ruined. <laughs> Russo with Jack 10. She's raised to 1,200. Russo has a lead in this in this match of about 10,000 in chips, and Eric Lindgren with King Jack calls. He's got Russo's Jack-10 dominated. Flop do 6-9 all spades. Russo with the only spade. How you doing on spades? Mm -hmm. How you doing on spades? I had to give it a spade look. Both players check. Turns an A to diamonds. Now Eric currently has the best hand, but Vanessa can hit a spade. A 10, seven or a queen to win this pot. Eric's bet out 1,400. And Vanessa oh. calls him. 1,400. The river of three of spades and Vanessa's made her flush. Check. Check, oh, check. Nine, nine. Russo takes down the pot. She now leads Eric Lindgren by a two to one chip margin. Spade. Vanessa's really been a quick study in the world of poker. That's due in large part to her rather impressive academic resume. In high school, I was uh, a really big dork. Um, I was a debater. Graduated valedictorian, went to Duke University undergrad, did my four year degree in two and a half years. I majored in economics and uh, randomly I take a, cl a class called uh, game theory and actually really fell in love. You know, it's not as game oriented as people may think. There's a lot of applied mathematics. It's um, actually a really complicated discipline, but it does teach you the study of strategic decision making. Therefore, it does apply to games like poker. But once I was able to master game theory, it made the study of poker come a lot more quickly to me. So did you, did you understand any of that? The answer to that question is no. <laughs> she has played very well in this match with Eric Lindgren and leads by a two to one chip margin. The E-Dog with suited Queen Deuce. He raises to 1,200. The E-Dog, huh? That's impressive. Just using some nicknames here to try to pump the guy up a little bit. Vanessa with Jack nine and she calls. Yeah, he does look a little bit down. Flops an eight, 10, four. Russo has a straight draw here. Check, check. Check, check. 
turn is a queen of diamonds, and it brings Vanessa straight and pairs Eric's queen. Unfortunately for him. That's putting it lightly, Matt. He obviously has to bet his queens. Raise. And Russo will now raise up to 4,000. 2,600 more for Eric to call this raise. He has called. The river, a deuce of clubs, and probably the worst card that ever could have come up for Eric yeah. Lindgren. Yeah, if Eric couldn't get away from Queens, he certainly can't get away from Queens up. And Vanessa has gone all in. Good card for me. Yeah, I call. Eric call. calls, and that's going to do it for him. Yes, the nuts. Good match. So I could have folded on the turn, I guess. I don't know. A dejected Eric Lindgren eliminated in the first round as Vanessa Russo moves on. Good job, sweetie. And Eric is snake bit in this tournament. Has not advanced past the second round. And he's eliminated in the first round in his third shot. Now we've got an all-in at one of the outer tables between Phil Locke and Marco Traniello. Let's see what you got. Daniela with 6-5 and Locke with 10 deuce. And let's see the flop. Locke has Tranello covered here. The flop comes out. Four deuce, 10 all clubs and two pair for Phil Locke. Well, he does have three of clubs would be interesting because then we can chop 20% of the time. Yeah. Well, his math skills are unbelievable. Six six the turn is six no, a club. It pairs Marco six. Marco's down to a six or a three to win the pot or a club to He's split it. To win and around 20% Otherwise, the it's Arrivederci. Rivers and eight of spades. And Phil Locke moves on to the field of 32 by eliminating Marco Tranello. And Jennifer Tilly, fan number one. She is playing the role of the supportive girlfriend brilliantly as Phil Locke advances. Welcome back to the National Heads Up Poker Championship. Catching up with the action in the club's bracket. Actress Shannon Elizabeth defeated Renee Angelil. Rising star Jeff Madsen took down Steve Zolotow. Vanessa Russo beat Eric Lindgren. Barry Greenstein defeated Carlos Mortensen. And Chip Reese advanced to the next round over Paul Darden. Let's get back to the action. Thanks, Shauna, and plenty of excitement here between Eric Seidel and Umberto Brennis, the animated Costa Rican, on his feet more often than not. And loving the flop, 7-8-5, which brings for Roberto Brennis a straight. Talk about turning rags into riches. Sorry for my friend. You think he knows he's on TV? <laughs> I'm going to have to say yes. He knows that the worst he can do on this hand is a split, and now he can't even do that badly. He's going to win this thing. Eric Seidel is drawing dead, and Roberto Brennis takes down the pot. Pride of Costa Rica up to 31,000 in chips. Back over to the matchup between Patrick Antonius and Huck Seed, and Seed has an advantage of roughly 25,000 to Antonius's 14,000 plus here. Suited King Jack, good enough for Patrick to move all in. And suited King Queen for Huck Seed. He's in a great way against Patrick. I have a feeling you have a big hand this time too, but. I guess I call, I don't know. And Huck calls. <laughs> In his own inimitable style. I guess I call. Yeah. And Patrick has King Jack of Hearts. Two pretty hands. Two pretty hands at this point. And the one's a lot prettier than the other. And Huck has the lead. Flop, deuce, four, four, six, six deuce. Huck Not anymore. Still the lead. One spade on the board, no hearts. Three and five is a good card for you. <laughs> Take a look at the turn. Huck needs to avoid a jack that turns an ace of spades. Ooh, Even better news for Huck. Took away an out of his. Jack of spades no longer an out for Patrick. And the river. Five of diamonds. That means that Patrick Antonius has been eliminated. Huck seed advances into the field of 32. Gutsy call with king queen for Huck seed. Could have been easily dominated. 
magazine while Eric Seidel is all in with a king queen of his own. And it looks like Umberto wants help from the, the grandstand here to try to squeeze the rest of this thing to see what he's got. This guy knows how to milk it, huh? Oh, yeah, he loves it. Suited big slick. <laughs> <laughs> what a showman. He's going to give Phil Locke a run for his money. Look at him hooting and hollering. He's like Fred Armisen's SNL character of Ferrisito. Ay, Dios mío. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's good to know that some of that World Cup swag has made its way into something other than a dumpster. Soccer match is broken out here at Heads Up, and the flop is an 8-6 final.